Billions of state dollars are headed to the Bay Area. When the governor signed off on the state budget Thursday, he approved several local projects that cover everything from health care to history. News Channel 8's Capitol Bureau reporter Libby Dean is taking a closer look at which projects made the cut. Governor DeSantis' signature Thursday approved the biggest budget in state history, as well as billions for the Bay Area. We are able to do things that make a difference in people's lives uh, by not wasting money, but by spending it on things that really have a great impact on the, on the general public. Two big ticket items include construction of a Tampa General Behavioral Health Hospital and the Hillsborough County African American Arts and Cultural Center, reaching a price tag of several million dollars. Plus two and a half million for feeding Tampa Bay. The group is planning to build a large facility to boost services. The budget does a good job in maintaining the baseline. And I think overall policymakers do a good job of maintaining the baseline, but there's still a lot of services um, and programs that we should be increasing. Florida Tax Watch, a nonpartisan think tank, says 76% of the governor's vetoes were spot on with their veto list. Officials happy with the result. So the same criteria that we use about following the right budget process um, I, you know, you got to think that the governor considered that as well. In total, DeSantis cut more than a half billion. It's frustrated many Democrats, even some Republicans, who've suggested the slash was political. Reporting in Tallahassee, Libby Dean, 8 on your side.